before, after, before, after. Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, uh, today I'm going to be uh, using Luminar Neo as a plugin within Photoshop. Even if you're just buying Luminar Neo as a plugin, it is really cool to have. So today we're going to take this little edit of Anna and work on making her look good using the skin thing. So make sure you watch till the end because there's this hack I have for skin retouching on the body that will blow your mind. Two things. One, I am a Luminar partner. Therefore, this video is all about showing you how I use Luminar within my workflow. And two, you guys can get a discount code of 10% off. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. But if you use the discount code Jacques 10 with the link that's in the description, you can get a good price on the Luminar Neo stuff in your checkout. So try that out. I'm, it's really worth it. Today, I'm going to be doing an edit of this right here, Anna. Let me just go to view and make sure that you guys can see her very well in this shot. So there you go. This is Anna right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of an edit within Photoshop. And then we're going to move over to the filter section and work with Luminar Neo as a plugin. Now, the point of this video is to tell you guys that if you decide to buy Luminar Neo as a standalone software, it's a great software. It really is good. But some of you might be used to your workflow within Photoshop and you might want to just stay within Photoshop. But today I just want to show you how you can adopt Luminar Neo while working in Photoshop. I've been doing it now for almost four years on my portrait edits and I've been loving every single minute of it. So I'm going to do an edit here and I'll do the stuff that I basically do in Photoshop Photoshop, so you can see what I do in Photoshop. And then after that, we're going to go over to Luminar Neo, use some of the artificial intelligence features within Luminar Neo. It can be a filter pack for Photoshop and an inexpensive one, by the way. So let me get into what I want to do. So I will go here and go into the layers view. Just to warn you guys, some of this video will be time lapsed, especially when I start doing some retouching. I will go control J and make a new layer, call that layer main like that, just so we know where it is. Now from here, I'm going to do a bit of retouching, which I really do like to do in Photoshop. If we go right here onto what's called the spot healing brush. There you go. I can do retouches using the healing brush or the spot healing brush to go do skin. That's how I would normally retouch skin. Let's go to her foot where we see a vein right here. And I would go to the zoom tool, move into a spot, say, okay, I want to get rid of the vein. I'd use the, the healing tool and I'd go sample a nice thing on the side and go like this, cover up those veins, get, get myself some nice smooth skin there there you go so that 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 would be like an edit i would do now this is laborious and it takes a lot of time and yes it might be a tad better than actually using what i'm about to use in luminar but not by much and when you realize that you just press one button in luminar and you've done all the skin it's kind of cool so export this all to luminar what i do is i go control shift alt e which flattens and makes me a new layer. I'll call this layer Luminar. Okay. And then we zoom out here. So we go view fit to screen. There's the shot. I'm going to take this and export it out to Luminar. If you look, just so you know, this is how you install Luminar. When you first install the software, make sure that you do have Lightroom or Photoshop already installed. You can go over here, Luminar Neo, into the menu. You go to File and you go Install Plugins. When you do that, it's going to ask you to install your plugins. And you just press, this will say Install instead of Uninstall. And then you install it. As you can see, I'm installed in Photoshop and I'm installed in Lightroom already. When you press done, uh, you will be installed in your software the next time you open up your Photoshop. Now, I think I might have to close this. 
so that it can be seen as a plugin by Photoshop. So here I am in Luminar right here. And if I press this and I go filter Skylum software, I can go to Luminar Neo when I press this. That layer that you're working on will be exported out to Luminar Neo where you can work in the interface like you like. You can use looks, you can use presets, you can use individual edits. Today we're going to talk about individual edits for a portrait edit that we're doing right now. So here you are, you're in your software, you're in Luminar Neo, you can use presets. As you can see, catalog doesn't exist because you're using this as a plugin. I'm gonna to go to edit and I'm gonna use just a couple of specific edits that I really do like to use on a photo. Another thing, just so you know, in presets, Luminar will still recognize what you're editing on and it'll offer you this for this photo thing where it'll give you certain types of preset looks where you can just press a button and you can have something great. But today we're going to go and we're going to retouch the skin. I'm going to show you a really cool hack that's a lot of fun. Go down here. You go to the bottom. You'll go to a point where it says portrait and you can play with portrait. And in here you have anything that's relative to a portrait edit. We will start off with one that I really like to use, and that's Skin AI. All you do is take the slider and move it up. That is it. That is it, guys. Now, let's go in close. Check it out. Now, you can see what it's done to the skin. If we come in closer here, let's say we go to her face and we press this right here, the before and after. That's before. That's after. You can really see it on the cheekbone. So if you go to the cheekbone, this is before. See how the skin is a bit roughly? And this is what Luminar does after. Before. After. Before. After. Pretty darn good. Wow. That's pretty incredible. Here, I'm just going to do a couple of face edits just really, really quick. When you go into face light, if you move it up, you're going to see her face gets more illuminated, which I will not use. You can slim the face, but I did that in Photoshop. And let's go in here and just check it out. Let's just see what happens to eyes really quick. I start from bottom and then I go up all the time because improve eyebrows. What it does is it darkens and burns in your eyebrows really, really well. Next thing you can do is red eye removal. There's no red eye because I'm, I'm, I'm I consider myself an okay photographer. Eye enhancer. This is kind of fun. It's really great because it just gives a little glare to the eye. Eye whitening is great. Don't exaggerate too much on this one because it can be, for example, I'll just bring it to the top so you guys can see. Sometimes it can whiten the eyes so much that it does, doesn't look real. You can enlarge the eyes. Uh, in this case, our model Anna is really good, so I don't think you need to enlarge the eyes. But let's say you went like this. You can make eyes bigger. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's a thing that a lot of people like to do. So I, I'll put it at 13, not too high. Iris flare is fantastic. What iris flare does is it goes underneath the eye right here and it gives a little flare if i pull this off here let's just check it out this is with that's without sort of takes into account the color of the eyes as well iris visibility there you go so you also have presets here if you want to play with them and use uh, different types of presets i like to go manually because i don't uh, i just like to do it that way uh, I do dodge and burn within Photoshop because I'm an old man. I've been doing it years there, but you can do dodge and burn in here. Today, we're going to do dodge and burn inside of Luminar just so you guys can see what it's like. So really quick, what I want to show you guys is just a little trick for skin. Now, if you come over here, as you can see from our before and after, you can see it on the face especially. If you look just around here, before and after, Luminar does a great job on the face and it does a great job on the skin. It smooths it out. But sometimes on things like orange peel, like you have here, it'd be kind of fun to smoothen it out a bit. And because it's a large surface, use this little trick that I'm about to show. It's really simple. You want to smooth out your skin and give it a sort of fantasy look because you don't need the details. The face, you need the details, but not necessarily here. What I use is go to mystical. I press mystical and I bring it way up. 
quite a bit to 66, 67. What you get here, I don't like. I just don't like it. Mystical is kind of weird. What you do is you go into masking and you brush in the effect just where you want it. You want it on the legs, on the large skin surfaces. Make sure that your mask shows as you're painting because it's always good to have that. But I'll put it always on my leg surface. It gives a nice look to large skin surfaces. You can go over here, you can go to adjustments and you can change the amount. You can see the difference. See it happening on the skin there? It gives a nice little look to the skin. And sometimes I boost this all the way just because I love the effect it gives. Those are all the edits I'm going to do within Luminar for now. Once you're done doing your edits, you just press apply and path. You go back into Photoshop. So you'll notice that I did make a layer and I called it Luminar. The reason why is sometimes I can go overboard and just do some bad edits. So it's kind of fun to have everything on that one layer that you can actually get rid of like this and look at what you have in the before and after just to see if you're satisfied. Remember, you can also play with fill and opacity if you feel like it and have some of this layer pop into the image and some of the old layer depending on your adjustment but i just wanted to show you those adjustments so you can see what they look like and uh, how you can use luminar as a plugin to do some really cool skin adjustments that are ai powered there you go listen i'm gonna put on a couple of other things that i just love to put on my stuff in photoshop There you go. And then you can export your image. Remember that you can go into the description, click on the link and use the discount code JOCK10. You'll get 10% off. If you feel like using Luminar as a plugin in Photoshop, you guys, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing.